Draw the pool boiling curve. We know that pool boiling is a mode of boiling where the fluid is stationary in the beginning with respect to the heating surface. To understand this boiling, let's consider an example of vessel containing some water placed on a burner. As the heat gets transferred from the bottom surface of the vessel to the stationary water, it starts rolling up and down. Then bubble formation takes place and after some time the water gets boiled. This process is a pool boiling process. Pool boiling takes place in different stages. They are free convection boiling, nucleate boiling, transition boiling and film boiling. These different stages can be easily plotted on a heat flux temperature plot. X-axis represents the difference between the current temperature and saturation temperature of water, which is represented by delta T excess. And Y-axis represents the heat transferred to the water per unit surface area of the vessel, which is represented by heat flux Q dot boiling. The curve OABCDE is known as the pool boiling curve of water. Here curve OA represents the stage free convection boiling. Curve ABC represents the stage nucleate boiling. Curve CD represents the stage transition boiling and curve DE represents the stage film boiling. Now let's understand each section of the curve one by one. Let's discuss about curve OA represents the stage free convection boiling. When we light the burner, heat transfer takes place between the vessel and water due to free or natural convection. We can see that the values of heat flux and delta T excess start increasing. And when the temperature of water reaches its saturation temperature, that is when delta T excess attains a positive value. Then boiling takes place. This stage of boiling is known as free convection boiling. Curve ABC represents the stage nucleate boiling. As we can see, nucleate boiling is divided into two parts. Curve AB represents liquid entrainment and curve BC represents critical heat flux. Now first, let us understand liquid entrainment. Due to continuous heating, we see that the value of delta T excess increases and the bubbles are formed at the bottom surface of the vessel. These bubbles move upwards and carry some water along with them but they collapse after covering some distance in the water. This is known as liquid entrainment. We see that the disturbance caused by liquid entrainment in the water increases the heat transfer coefficient, so the heat flux also increases. In curve BC, we see that as delta T excess further increases, the bubbles start forming at a faster rate. These vapor bubbles move upwards and merge to form numerous continuous columns of vapor in the liquid. The bubbles in the column then move upwards to the free surface, where they break up and release their vapor content. Due to this, the heat flux attains its maximum value known as critical heat flux. Thus, the complete stage of boiling from A to C is known as nucleate boiling. Curve CD represents transition boiling. When the vapor of delta T excess increases beyond the critical point, we see that the heat flux starts decreasing. 
This is because a large fraction of the heated surface of the vessel is covered with a vapor film. This vapor film acts as an insulator as its thermal conductivity is lower than that of water. Thus the value of heat flux attains its minimum value. Point D corresponding to the minimum value of heat flux is known as Leiden frost point. In curve CD both nucleate and film boiling takes place partially. Thus this stage is known as transition boiling. Curve DE represents the stage film boiling. We see that after the transition phase the delta T excess further increases due to which the vessel surface is completely covered by a continuous stable vapor film. Now because of high temperature we see that the radiation heat transfer takes place between the heated surface and the water through the vapor film. Thus this stage is known as film boiling.